Welcome to Ellie's Teacher TV. This is a very special edition. As you can see, I scanned myself and I will create an avatar of myself and will read it in Blender. So that's what the lesson is about. So let's go through it step by step. First thing is, of course, opening the file. So that means file import. And the format is OBJ, which is here wavefront. Select the file, import it, takes a little bit, and it comes finally up, and we have to get it into an upright position, of course, it lies at the floor, so it could be that there is no shading on it, so it, you have to be aware here to switch the button, maybe. Uh, and then just, we rotate it in a way that the x-axis is crossing me. And I go upright somehow. And I have to move myself a bit up. Down a bit. And a bit more upright. And now I have to check it, what it looks like. Oh, that's not enough. A bit more. And I think that's fine. And so I can leave it this way. So let's look for the Rigify add-on now. So we have to go to Edit Prefs. And there are all the plugins or add-ons. And Rigify is, of course, somewhere at the bottom with, to have the correct. And here you see Rigify. That's it. Go there and switch it on. We can check if there is something. So if we go to the object and with Shift A, there should be Armature and Armature Basic, Basic Human. That's what we need to do. So we get skeleton, I would say, in my words. Now, for calibration purpose, it's a good idea to make it transparent here so I put the rig in front that's here so I can always see the bones and I go to the front and change the size in a way that it fits so I go to scale and a bit smaller that's fine and I can see my scan is slightly to the right so I have to correct the scan also. So I pick the scan and go to rotate and slightly a tick to the left and then it's fine. Next is to put the bones into correct position so I have to go to edit mode and then in the small toolbar here I go to tools and then I switch to x-axis mirror because I want to do it symmetrically what I do on the left will happen on the right and vice versa so let's see how to move those so I go pretty close now and with a selection window I pick what I want and with G I hit the G button I position it where I need it and then release it, click it twice. Now window again, G button, position it, release it, click it and so on. So I do it quickly now. If I got everything right in the front view, I switch to the left view and you can see still we have some work to do. So I change here in the same way. When I'm positioned everything, I check in 3D if I'm correct here and you can see this one has to be moved. Once again, check it. 
and now most of it looks fine, maybe those. And that's good enough, I think. So we're finished now in edit mode, we switch back to object mode, and in object mode we apply the scale to fix it to the size we have now. That for that hit Ctrl A and scale. And what happens is, show you, uh, everything is set back to 1.0. That's exactly what freeze transformation does, for example, when you use Maya. All right, and now we go for this little mannequin to look for generate rig. Generate rig is at the bottom here, where you give our buttons. And then if you open that one, then there will be a generate rig, which we can hit and we get our rig immediately. And now we have to connect everything, which is parenting. So what has to be parented with each other? So the thing is, we have to select first the model. That means my scan. And then we select the rig. We shift. So we have both selected and then we hit Ctrl P for parenting. And then there are different options and the one we use is with automatic weights. And that takes some time. This is finished now after a few minutes, so now I can switch to pose mode. For that, I pick the armature and make it invisible with H. Select the rig and go to pose mode. And in pose mode, I can take the controllers and with G, I can move around and make some nice movements with my avatar. So go to my knees or go up, whatever. Hit control set, of course, to go back. Or take a closer look to the hand. Take the hand controller, hit G again and move the hand. But what you can see is it stretches the arm unnaturally. So in this case, I go back and I go back to tool menu here on the right to item and in the item there is one setting which is called IK stretch. So you see up down there we have all the arm IKs, leg IKs and so on and here is a general I IK stretch value and this can be set to zero that means no stretching allowed and now if I move my IK handle here, the handle moves but the arm doesn't stretch anymore. So that's a good setting. Now, now we finished in Blender, so I made myself as an avatar, and this avatar can be used now. So thanks for watching, and there will be an add-on, an additional video, where I show you how to export from Blender to VRAD, the cut tool, and look at yourself in VR. Thanks for watching.